When it comes to hairsprays, there's actually a few things that you need to understand. And as a professional for many, many years, I've discovered a lot of things when using hairsprays, like what not to do, the proper way to do things. In my opinion and my experience, uh, hairspray is something that is a great product, a great tool, and a great resource for your hairstyling needs. It just really depends on the type of hairspray you're using. The first thing I'm gonna point out to you is I get a lot of people saying, you know, is hairspray bad for you? Now, I think hairsprays, right, that are very, very strong or could be very harsh depending on the ingredients in them, I've noticed can form buildup on the hair and then in combination with hot tools. So for example, Somebody has a brush, they're locking in the brush, the hair is dry, they're spraying on the hairspray, taking the blow dryer and just singeing the hair with the blow dryer, all you know, the alcohol, all the ingredients kind of burning on the hair. It, it will cause damage over time if used improperly. Or your hair is very, very dry, you take a curling iron or a smoothing iron, you hold it into the hair, then take the hairspray and let it sit there for a long period of time, that could cause damage too. I've noticed the ones that are more of a liquid type of hairspray, something that when you spray it out, it's like that, it comes out in, in a liquid form. That has, does the most as far as causing damage and combined with you know, heat when used improperly. That I've, I've noticed, you know, I've seen a lot of breakage, a lot of buildup on clients of mine over the years, okay? I've also seen aerosol hairsprays that are just, they come out like this, they're not liquid, liquid in, in the spray form, uh, cause some as well, but not as much. So just keep that in mind. If you're, you are using a hairspray in comp with a hot tool, you know, does it always mean you're gonna cause damage to the hair? Not necessarily, but if used the wrong way, there's a potential risk for that. Who is hairspray good for? So it doesn't matter male, female, it really depends on what you're looking to achieve with your hairstyle, the, the durability of it, the longevity of how you want the style to hold up. Hairspray can be your best friend when it comes to things like that. But just keep in mind, hairspray is the last product that you are going to use to finish off the hairstyle. That's why it's like the finisher or the closer. It's a finishing product designed to spray it, set it, and forget it, all right? You don't wanna have a hairspray uh, that, you know, there's some that are so strong and some people like that, right? Uh, so keep in mind, why would you want or need a hairspray? Next is a type of finish. There's a lot of hairsprays that you know, produce a lot of shine in the hair, which may or may not be a good or bad thing. So I've, I've seen that, where you spray the, hair, the aerosol hairspray into the hair, it holds it, but it you know, leaves a strong sheen to the hair, so you may not want that. There's also hairsprays that are like cement, right? It leaves your hair like super, super firm, rock hard, that's like banging on a, a, a brick. It leaves the hair like really, really firm and, and strong. So if you like that or you don't care about the feel, that's another thing. There's also hairsprays that leave the hair a bit more on like the crunchier side. I've noticed the hairsprays that are a bit more of a spray gel hairspray like that where it's liquid, it will leave your hair feeling a bit wet because it's not drying, it's gotta settle down, all right? Whereas this, it's coming out like already dry right from the spray, the aerosol. Whereas the pump hairspray, it's always uh, more liquid prominent here, so as by the time it reaches the hair, it's still gonna be damp, it's still gonna be wet, and then it takes time for the product to dry. That's the biggest difference. You know, an aerosol can, you're getting like pretty much instant results this may be a lot stronger, but it's gonna take uh, a little bit longer to dry, okay? So, so when would you use a hairspray? You know, if you, if you want something with like a pompadour type of hairstyle, something that's, you really don't want the hair to move, 
you want it to lock in, you want it to stay in place, that's when you would use a hairspray. I have one hairspray, right, in my line, and that's the locked hairspray, which is literally, be, I mean, becoming the number one selling product. What's unique about this is that it's a matte finish, so there's no shine whatsoever. It's kind of like a powdery type of consistency, and it's a light to medium hold. That's it. So it's not bulletproof hold, and, and it's not cement head or anything like that. It's literally a very workable, light to medium hold product with no shine. It just kind of seals the deal a little bit and leaves a good amount of uh, you know, light texture to the hair. It's got UV protectants in it, so it's got a little bit of heat protection. It's a great finishing product, and that's what it's there for. The one thing, again, I love about this, it's matte a matte finish hairspray. There's like no matte finish hairsprays that I've come across. So that's why I love the locked hairspray. When you're using something like, this is just a, a, a tester that, you know, I never came out with this, but it's a tester of a, of a spray gel type of hairspray. For something like this, again, it's great for a hairstyle that you don't necessarily uh, need instant results but you want that super strong hold, meaning that once this dries, you're pretty much not gonna be able to run your fingers through it. And if you do, it's really gonna break up that style. The hair could feel a bit kind of crunchy from the, from the hairspray. You know, it's something that towards the end of the day, a vent brush will come in very handy. You do not wanna take a hair cutting comb and comb out the hairspray. You're gonna get tons of potential breakage or hairs coming out a vent brush, this right here, the anti-static vent brush, which I do sell, is great for stuff like that because the bristles are wider, it gets through the hair a lot easier, and it really prevents you know, any sort of ripping out the hairs from the head. So any type of liquid hairspray is gonna be stronger. It's great for something like this, but also it's great for more of a wavy or curly type of finish. Now, we're talking sprays here, Tidal Wave, right? It's my literally number one selling product. The great thing about Tidal Wave is you can spray it on like this. It's not under the hairspray category, but it's a leave-in spray, which is amazing. Spraying it into this type of style, it will air dry, very natural, very soft, you're gonna get some volume, but you're not gonna get very, very strong hold. It's not a hold type of product. You spray something like that on, you go in with locked, and you're gonna get a very kind of light to medium textured hold. It's great if you want a very soft, natural feel. If you don't want that type of feel, and you're like, I love my curls, I want a little shine to it, I want, it to, I want to set it and forget it and not have it move whatsoever, then a liquid type of spray would come in handy. You spray this on the entire head like so, and then you do not touch it. Keep in mind, it's going to be wet. So if you take your hands after you spray hairspray on and you start running your fit, it's gonna completely destroy what you're trying to settle and lock in. Remember, hairspray is designed to lock in the style and finish it. It's a finisher. This is the closer right here. So. Once you spray this, set it and forget it. And that's really what it comes down to with hairsprays. You wanna always use hairspray for the most part when the hair is fully dry, at least that's what I do because the pre-styler, like 25 spray, you're getting it going, right? That's the base foundational spray. Then next, Tidal Wave, that's your base styling spray. And then you could use, you know, this or a wet type of hairspray, a pump hairspray or an aerosol, once the style is completely done, you've blow dried it, you've got the style in place however you want it, and you wanna finish it off. If you use code YouTube20, I'm gonna tell you all to stop using this code, please. All right, I'm, this is horrible for me. Too many people are using this code, but it's YouTube20, you get 20% off at shop.thesalon.com and also free shipping on orders over $50 in the United States. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.